Alright guys, kicking off TML Week 13. Going up against Patriots again. I think we already played them this year. I honestly don't remember. But we come in at 5-6 and six and uh, there's going to be a change I'll have to make first time I go on offense because like this is the first time in the history of everything that I was able to actually go from Odell dancing straight to the game because I got an invite. Like I didn't have any issues with it for once so uh, thanks EA for finally getting your shit together. I don't know. But basically the change I need to make uh, Keith Winnings earned the starting job, at least until Jeffrey Kane gets back, but we'll worry about that when it comes. But, like I said, since I went straight from the main menu to the game, I wasn't able to actually go in and edit my depth chart, so... And, and I, didn't want to, I didn't want a chance backing out to go fix that, because then, you know, it probably would have just fucked everything up. Ooh, and Jelani Jenkins close to getting a pick there. <laughs> but either way, fourth, third, and five. And no Gronk. Ah, oh, and Devontae Freeman burns us. Beat. Go with me see in man coverage. To absolutely no one, and uh, Michael Kendricks. I, I forgot that Koemisi's scrub ass got traded to the Redskins in this league. Alright. Playing decent run defense so far, at least. Dominican Sue has just been raking in sacks all year. Like, I, I just, he's been so freaking good. He's actually worth the money, which is the crazy part. See, like, he just, if you do not have, like, Marshall Yonda there, Sue's going to get pressure. You can't do anything about that. <laughs> like, if there is a double team, you should have a couple seconds, but he'll split it eventually. I say Marshall Yonda because when we played the Ravens, he got absolutely stonewalled. Even then, I still think he got, like, a sack in that game at some point, but that might have been if I rushed him off somebody else. All right. Now we got to go ahead and change the step chart. Fuck off, cousins. You useless piece of shit. All right, there we go. Putting in Keith fucking winning. Because last week proved he's goddamn champion. Like, I don't know what it is about winning, but... Just going like Madden attributes, obviously a lot worse of a quarterback than Cousins, but he just played so much better. Yeah, that was just, uh, I, I was kind of hoping Matthews wouldn't, you know, literally just stand there when he was the only player I could throw to on that side of the field, but he decided to be a dipshit, not move, so here we are, second and ten, just lucky that wasn't picked. Like, dude, you, you see him running around like that, stop standing right in front of your fucking defender. Ugh. And yeah, we still gotta deal with that Patriot front seven. We have Sue, Vernon, and Mingo. They've got Hightower, Collins. I think they still have Jabal Sheard, can't tell. Yeah, they got Jabal Sheard. Chandler Jones. All of them. It's it's a lot to deal with. Oh. Wedding barely got that throw off. I want a Cameron on that corner route. He's just getting open. Linebacker kind of followed him straight up, but it looked like corner was about to come down and go play a Jaya in the flat, so probably would have had him open. 
Now, I don't know if that would have been an accurate pass or not. I mean, Winning didn't have issues with medium accuracy, so. We'll see. So far, our early defensive struggle, I can I can handle it. Most of my games all year this season. Ooh. And a good play by Grimes there. He's old and slow, yeah, but... I mean, Grimes can still play pretty well at this point because he's got, like, the tackling abilities of a freaking linebacker. It's, it's pretty crazy. All right. And I don't know if Gronk is hurt for them or not. Oh, no. Gronk's not hurt. They traded Gronk to the Texans. <laughs> so, CJ for Dorwicks, like, um, maybe they got him from that trade, I guess. That's going to be their number one tight end. I'm a Texans fan in real life, so I know a little bit about CJ. He's mostly a blocking tight end, but he's got decent hands. Like, he, he'll be serviceable as a receiver. Definitely no Gronk, though. So, most dynamic aspect of their offense is gone. And really makes that front seven that I was talking about earlier the strongest aspect on their team. All right, Walt Aiken's playing good run defense. All right, yep. Yeah. So Gronk got traded for Fedorovic. David Quessenberry, a first this year, and a third in the next year. Wow. That might actually be worth it. Good young guard, good young tight end. Uh, two draft picks for Gronk. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. I mean... Makes it to where playing as the Patriots, you know, when Brady retires in a year or so eventually. It's not looking like he's going to do that in real life, but whatever. You kind of have pieces to build the team up, but I don't think you're going to be ready before Brady calls it quits. Whoa, what the hell? I don't know why Edelman ran so far back across the line, but... Ooh, and the first was like 1-2 overall. Nice. Ooh, and that punt just got in the end zone. Oof. That was really close to just screwing us. Alright, neither offense figured anything out yet. Couple first downs on their side, I don't think I got one on mine. And, oh, Logan Ryan, I think. Is that Logan Ryan? Yep. That was a really good play by him. I didn't think he was actually going to catch Ajaya like that. Chalk it up to Madden rubber band tackling or whatever you want, but yeah. Alright, I see where I want to go here. Ow. Oh. Parker, come on. I want to like you. But then I give you a one on one chance like that and you fuck it up. Come on, dude. I'm trying to have a little faith in you. And, oh, winning. The one time he actually overthrows a mid-range pass, it has to be on third down. Awesome. Awesome. It's just a straight-up zone coverage we had to beat. But winning couldn't place the ball accurately overthrew him.
And they have Jay Frost. The Texans Patriots pipeline went the other way here. All right, Grimes. Like I said, he's got tackling ability. And I don't know why he just decided to knock that down. He would have had an easy shot at the pick. I'll take it, though. Ah. And that that happened. I just let Tom Brady scramble for 15 yards. I'm gonna go out back and kill myself now. That was just wow. We might have been able to make that tackle too, but we got a chip block from one of the receivers. So, yep. At least the run defense is still playing good. And the one still no score. All right. Now we're going to switch to Vernon and get some pressure with him. And that's cheap using D line, but. Whatever. I kind of invested in coverage linebackers here, so I trust them to do their job well enough without my interference. All right, good job, Rashad. Probably should have been playing receiver the all the whole way there, but can't complain. The sack pushed him out of field goal range, so they'll have to punt again off a of fourth and twenty-two. And he didn't fumble, so that's good. Like, I know I hate on Bobby Rainey all the time. Literally the only reason I ever got him in the first place is because this team was absolutely gutted before I had them. Um, that worked. That's not exactly what I was planning to do, but... Um... Absolutely great awareness by Parker to somehow stop on a dime and turn around. He's trying to throw that ball in front of him because Parker was going to pass the linebacker. Oh, God. There's Dante Hightower. Oh, I just accidentally picked up the same play again. Shit. Alright, the left man Jai just burned him up the sideline. And we finally get something going on offense. Let's see if we can keep that going. Took winning a little bit, but. I only seem to have gotten going. And the Jaya, if we had more. Solid blocking on the right side. Could have actually done something there. Oh well. It will be a struggle just to get him to 500 yards. Can't run for shit here. Yeah, see what I mean? Even when the hole opens up initially, he still gets bottled up. Uh, 
pretty sure part of it is just me being used to having Eddie Lacy from my other Madden leagues, but yeah. Oh well. All right, that didn't work at all. I, I was hoping I could have got stills going, you know, in a full-on run, but they were playing it perfectly, so nothing happened. And man, that would have been a coffin corner if he wasn't already in position. Well, we got a first down for once, so it's something. Yeah, no, don't run against Sue. Not a good idea. Why am I not surprised that Parrish Cox got beat? He just hasn't been playing well for me. Come on, Grimes slow ass is able to lock people down. Why can't you? Does anyone else see a halfback dive here? Trap run, whatever. They bounce that back out. Alright, good run for Freeman. I gotta say, those trap runs have been really effective at getting Sue out. Alright, good job, Rashad Jones. Second and one. The kind of just ran it straight up. I, I expected like an inside zone, but. You know. And I don't know what the hell just happened to my camera. That was so freaking weird. Didn't change at all. I don't... I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the hell happened on that play to change the camera like that. But they beat the blitz, so... Yeah. Oh. And... Bryce McCain finds himself a little bit out of position. God damn it. And that's going to be a block in the back on Edelman. Yep. Really obvious one. They're already going a heavy set. Does this screen play action to you? Yeah, I don't know what they're expecting there. It's it's goal line. You don't try to bounce out out for a big play. All right. You know, Cox, when you're standing right in front of a like lame ass throw like that you try to pick it off 
Can't be mad at the incompletion, but come on. Easy opportunity. It's gone. I guess the toss is trying to catch me off guard, but I don't know. We got about a minute left, and now it's someone's finally scored. 3 0 Patriots. All right, Keith. Time to do your thing, damn it. Just the, the, part, the one where you don't suck, though. That thing. Whatever that is. I don't know if I really found it last week. Just played kind of decent. Deck to QB, no sacks allowed. <laughs> I'll try. All right. Giant, you gotta keep your feet down, man. Come on. Wait, did you actually catch that? He just ran out of bounds like immediately. Oh God. And was that an overthrow or what? That looked like it was completely on target. What the heck? I, I don't. I don't even know what just actually happened. All right. This looks like a cover three. And pass rush. Oh well. We'll figure this out in the second half. Barring a pick or whatever. Haven't gotten any of those yet today. Haven't thrown any either though, so all works out. Ha! Nope. Walt Aikens out of fucking nowhere. Get your happy ass down, Freeman. And Walt Aikens already has eight tackles. That's pretty expected. And they're running a lot of outside tosses and all that. I don't know. Oh. Oh, come on, guys! Vernon, Mingo, you're both right there. Just pick up the ball. That could have been a huge play. All right, good play, Grimes. Third and 21, three seconds left. Uh, oh shit. This is the Hail Mary play I need to get in defense. Okay. I completely forgot that Hail Marys were a thing for a second. Get over here, Brady. Well, close enough.
And I see we are playing against the wind. Yeah, okay. We're actually gonna have to drive a little bit for a field goal, so hey. Alright. Let's do some more screens today. Whoop. Oh. Damn you, Jason McCordy, and your crazy recovery speed. But that one play actually just put me in field goal position uh, field goal range, so. Alright, I'm seeing a three double buzz here. No. Come on! Stills, get your ass open! I just got sacked by the Von fucking house. You shithead. Get bumped at the line and took like three seconds to get going again. What an asshole. Hey, it looked like for a second we had a run game. That would have been crazy. I never have a run game. Alright, see in the cover soon. Nope. Oh, so close. I'm taking my points because we don't know when the hell that's going to happen again. That scream to Devante, obviously the big reason why we... Oh my god, that better make it. Are you fucking kidding me? It landed on the crossbar and rolled back out. Are... What? I just can't have nice things. Okay, an Earl Mitchell shows up. Cool. I didn't even have to use him to do it. Alrighty, very quick third down. Don't fuck this up. Oh, and we just got beat by Dobson. Good play from him, though. Thought he was going to get hit and drop that ball. Oh, Mingo, you got to make that tackle, man. Bring down Devontae Freeman's midget ass. Come on. Where's my picks at? Please tackle him. Oh my god, they're gonna have a fucking touchdown. Ten point lead. Can't come back from that shit. Fuck. Oh, 
damn it. And we still haven't even put points on the board. Should do something about that, guys. They seriously fired the rifles off again because of a fucking extra point. Jesus, New England. It's just so petty. Well, alright. Everyone quit walking in slow-mo, get your asses back out there. I haven't even had a hundred yards of offense. Today has just been a shitty day for them. Alright. Decent pickup for Rashard Matthews. Winning's over a hundred yards on the day. It's still mid third quarter. It's not like I'm completely out of this yet. Alright. Jordan Matthews just got straight murdered, but we converted. I don't know. See, I don't know why it changes the camera on plays like that. Never seen it do that before. It's so weird. We're just opening up this pass around this passing offense. Ugh. God damn. Why would you jump for that, you idiot? It's a screen pass. Jump straight at a fucking defender. What a moron. Alright, Ajaya. Why do you immediately redeem yourself? Getting on the board on this drive. Cover three. Staying empty. Jaya wide open. No one covered him. And I think he got that first down. It'll be close. Not quite. Not quite. That is fine. He's got more yards receiving than he does rushing right now, which is fucking pathetic. It's that simple. Just a run up the middle, and that got him yards. Oh, God. All right, Kenny still leaked out into a flat. And we finally get points. Fuck yeah. And you know, other than that one really inaccurate throw to Matthews on the in route earlier on third down, I think Wending has had a pretty good day. That drive, obviously the best one so far. And I think that puts him at something like uh, 13 of 19 for like 158 yards, so a touchdown. But it's just the pass protection just has not hold up at all. It's been fucking terrible. Run game has been completely gone. Yeah. I mean, I'm not expecting him to play like some Hall of Famer or anything like that. I just want him to be serviceable, and he has been. I mean, my long-term starter was Jeffrey Kane, the rookie, but got hurt. And somehow Brady got that pass off. Damn. Like, I think right now, he might actually, uh, Wenning might actually have a better stat line in this game than Brady. Which is crazy. I mean, obviously that makes him the best quarterback in the world, right? 
Isn't that how it works? Oh. They take away Sue, but in comes Vern. Number two on the day. That just is fine. Wow. I thought we had more than that, actually. I feel like Mingo's should have got there at least once. But we go into the fourth. Big chance right now to stop the Patriots cold. And we're only down three, so still in very good position to make something out of this. All right. Sue got pressure. Brady threw an inaccurate pass. Would have been short of the first down anyways. All right. Great start to the fourth quarter. And that might be the first time I've fair caught all year. Did not feel like having Rainey get blown the fuck up on the front on the punt return, so. Yeah. That's a face mask, sir. All right, Chandler Jones giving us free shit. Not complaining. I will take it. And we actually have more yards than New England now. I don't know how the hell that happened. All right, decent run from Ajaya there. Just ran out of blockers. Second and two. He's up to like three yards of carry now, which might actually be one of the better days for him. This stupid ass team. Not the first down. Good job. And what the hell? He hurt himself taking me out? He really wanted that tackle. Still couldn't even stop the first down or fumble or anything. It was all in vain. We're going to run Jay Ajay at a fucking victory. That's just how it's going to be today. Ah, I should have just ran straight to the edge there, but I didn't. Here we are, third and four. Wait, what? I could have sworn I hit X. Ooh, torn shoulder later later that for Patrick Chung. That's gonna be a season ender. Good, good night, Patrick Chung. We'll tie the game at least. Couldn't get the touchdown, but whatever. With the way both defenses are playing, it's gonna be who uh, whoever scores next wins. Unless we just magically figure out how to offense at the same time, but I doubt that. One of us is fucking up. I'm betting it'll be me. Do I see a toss play? I see a toss play. Can't do anything about it though. Because of all those sacks, they've only got 86 yards total when they go to the air. Mer. Still no picks yet. This might be the first time I haven't actually got a pick. Been doing pretty good about that this year.
There we go. There's the pick. Good job, Michael Kendricks. And how about the fucking timing, too? I didn't really have too much space to cut that back into, but still. Big nickel set for them. I have no idea why I don't have a deep pass audible set. I'm going giant. Oh, 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 he got caught immediately. Fuck off, Harmon. Fuck off. Let's see. Third and one. What do I do? Kind of expected to see, like, goal line defense or something. Alright. Fullback dive worked. Shot the wrong gap, too. He's definitely playing as if I was actually going to hand it to a giant again. Come on now, that hasn't been working all day. Why would I do that? All right. Now we go for receivers. They go into quarters defense. And winning dies. I probably could have thrown that deep. I just didn't trust Winning's arm. I, I really do not feel like throwing a pick here. That would kind of suck. Then again, can't trust the Jaya to do shit. So, whatever. Again with the camera shit. Oh! And Kenny Stills. Come on, man. At least we got the win behind us this time, so. Good. We actually fucking hit a field goal. 13 to 10. We took the lead. Now we just have to stop Brady from pulling a Brady. All right. Decent kick return coverage. Would have liked to hit him earlier, but they blocked pretty well on that side, so. We're getting hits in with Sue. They've just went to a more quick pass type offense, so we haven't seen the sacks come through in the second half. Maybe it's time to change it up on our pass rush. What is this flag going to be for? Oh, another block in the back. Can't do that, dude. Open. All right, about the two minute warning. Oh, they got that off, huh? That was so fast, Jesus. Brady didn't die apparently, so I'm not seeing an injury timeout. And I think we stopped him short. Did we? Yes. All right.
Please, Walt, well, Jesus, how are you getting out ran by a fucking tight end? Oh, shit. That's pretty bad that my safety was getting outran by a goddamn tight end. Like, what, what the fuck was that? Come on. We get stepped. At least we have all our timeouts, so... That's good. Now it's just a matter of what do I want to do. Oh, I know what I don't want to do is accomplish that drive goal. What the fuck are you thinking, Madden? I'm not going to run the ball six times. Maybe I'll scramble every once in a while, but shit. More of it. All right. Jaya, get your ass back to the line. We're all waiting on you, dipshit. Come on. Ah! Oh, Matthews! Hold the fucking ball! What did I just call? Alright. Yeah, changing this. Fuck. Um, that didn't go well. Jesus Christ. Fourth and 15. And somehow we're trailing now. Great. Just fucking great. Alright. Come on, Matthews. Fuck yeah! Get your asses back to the line. Let's go. We got games and shit to win. Let's go, motherfuckers. Yeah, that was a throwaway. I don't know how it didn't call me for intentional grounding, but whatever. Remember, everyone, we saw this last week. Keith Winning is a fucking champion. I have the utmost faith in him. See what I fucking mean? Man has balls of steel. Hammer gets his feet down, out of bounds, we don't have to burn a timeout. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Motherfucking champion. I saw them in a 4-3 and I was thinking, the oh god. The only way they'd be in a 4-3, only reason, would be to send a lot of pressure. And they send an all-out blitz. The second I saw those linebackers run forward, I just tossed it right over the middle. Had Richard Matthews on a post. Easy touchdown. Safeties just couldn't catch up in time, but I don't expect them to. I don't think any defense would, unless you have, like, Earl Thomas on even more Adderall and steroids, and the Seahawks already have him on. Now we need the defense to just hold on for 21 seconds. Love to keep him out of field goal range, but touchdown is the absolute. Like, we absolutely can't allow a touchdown here. Good play there. Dobson couldn't get his feet down. Took five seconds off the clock, too. So I'd say you have this and maybe one more shot before we have to go straight up Hail Mary. Ooh. Breland tried to go for that pick, but Vorwicks came in. 
Good play, though, to get the ball out. Another five seconds gone, and no yardage gained for the Patriots. Ooh, fuck. Okay. Thank fucking God Grimes made that tackle. I really do not feel like getting burned by Edelman for a fucking game winner. Like that. That would have just been heartbreaking. Okay. Five seconds left. This has got to be the last play of the game. I'm in Hail Mary defense. I don't care how many yards you gain. Just don't get in the end zone. Come on, Sue. And we got it. Dobson broke a couple tackles, but can't break it when there's four people there. And Keith fucking winning the end clutch as fuck again with a game-winning drive with only a minute 20 to go. Out Brady, Brady. And the Nighthawks get back to 500. We're at 6-6 six and six after two big wins over division rivals. I don't know. I mean, I have Jeffrey Kane coming back, I believe, in week 15 or 16. It should be like one of the last two games of the year. I don't know if I want to hand the ball back to him. I mean, I know it sounds crazy because Keith Wenning's obviously not really that special, but he's been playing better than really than any quarterback I've had. And I think Kane might be might be able to say he plays as well as Wenning, but. All I know is Kirk Cousins is an absolute fucking hot garbage, but Wenning's been playing pretty fucking well. The accuracy pops up from time to time as an issue, but for the most part, I mean, he, he puts a lot of his passes uh, accurately, so I, I don't know. We'll see.